Thanks for your company. The details now. Some staff of the Mervyn Peak Ambassador Hotel in Accra laid down their tools on Wednesday in protest against what they describe as racist treatment meted out to them by the hotel's management. Activities at the reception of the hotel got interrupted when some staff members numbering about 100 pitched camp with their aprons amidst drumming and chanting. <laughs> Now, the workers are requesting that the immediate dismissal of the hotel's general manager, Michael Rathdeck, who they claim favours expatriate workers at their detriment. Speaking to the media, some of the workers alert that Ghanaian employees get sacked for stealing pens, while expatriate staff were let off the hook when they stole from guests. Sources close to management of Mervyn Pick have told Joy Business that meetings are underway to resolve the situation as a matter of urgency. The Mervyn Pick general manager, Mr. Radgep, who was standing at the entrance of the hotel at the time of that demo, declined to comment when some media men approached him. This is the second time Mervyn Pick has faced such protests from workers. And meanwhile, some of aggrieved workers have threatened to petition the National Labor Commission on the matter if management does not intervene. We understand the staff are back to work today, but this incident has brought to the fore once again issues of racist abuse allegation against foreign employees by Ghanaian workers. Remember the story about a Mawako employee who had her face dipped into blended pepper, and uh, which was uh, done by her employee? Well, Ghanaian employees of the restaurant had complained so many times of racist abuse by their Lebanese employers. Then there was another story from the Ghana Household Utilities Manufacturing Company Limited in Takrade, where workers were being forced to apologize to dogs of their Chinese boss. We've been joined by General Secretary of the Industrial Commercial Workers Union, Mr. Solomon Kote. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Does this come to you as a surprise? I'm talking about the demonstration by the Mervyn Pick staff. Hello, Mr. Kote. Hello, your voice is very faint. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Yes, it's better now. Good better morning. Now. Thanks for joining the program. Does this Good demonstration... Morning, Mary, your viewers. Thank you, sir. Does this demonstration by Mervyn Pick staff come as a surprise to you? Well, uh, we, we saw it coming and uh, management failed to handle the situation in a manner that will have uh, affected it. However, we've managed to bring everything under normalcy now and everything is calm this morning. Mm. The first time we are hearing of such allegations of racism, Mr. Kote, is there a working document uh, to guard against such things at the workplace? You know, we have a collective agreement in which we have what we call grievance procedure. And many who are faulted on principles, code of conduct of the business, have all gone through it. And conclusions of the committee have been final. But in this particular case, management is trying to bury the due process that has been followed and the recommendation of the, uh, the committee. So workers were like, if it is a black, if it's a Ghanaian, will you say you want to go and consult a lawyer to re, you know, look at the issues again? This is where it all began, because we made them aware that if what is good for the goose is good for the Ghana, this is not the point for you to bury the kind of uh, misdemeanor from the uh, white lady who had actually misconducted herself. This is what brought about the whole problem. So going forward, I mean, we've heard of some of these things and uh, sometimes it's quite unpleasant, the kind of things we hear about uh, foreign or expatriate bosses with regards to how they treat Ghanaian locals working with them. Moving forward, are there any plans? Uh, I'm just wondering, as the ICU, is there a grand agenda to try and avert such things? If, if you pick uh, that of Mawako, you look at the way I see what's about it, is the resolve has gone for good. 
We don't know which experts will be gaining employment in Ghana, and they want to look at himself as a superhuman being than you know, the rest of his colleagues who are here. So we, we cannot guarantee that we are going to put measures in place that will not happen. If any expert comes into this country and is not willing to come, but will conduct as a business and rules of flex in other states, action is coming. But we hope that any employer who is bringing an expert will give them the education very well so that they will not come here and come and give us this unnecessary headache. Is education enough? What about uh, on the part of the, the Ghanaian employees? What can they do to, to, to deal with such well, things? Well, you see, in this particular case, in moving day, you'll be surprised that a, a colleague took just a tea leaf and committee side, the same committee side, and they recommended this new salary was dismissed. And somebody are taking a gold bar, and that's why you are saying you are going to a, a, a lawyer. These are the issues. So we are so much committed that so long as we set rules for ourselves, all of us will subject ourselves for it. And this particular general manager's conduct is not the best. It brings fear and panic on the workers. His attention has been drawn to it separately. Yet he wouldn't change. If you look at the spontaneous reaction from the workers, there is something beyond anybody in you know, our control. Both managers, uh, you know, class, everybody on the ground has joined in this particular uh, unfortunate. Hello, Mr. Kote. Unfortunately, we seem to have a challenge with the line there. He was just making a point about the conduct of the general manager, uh, saying that the... the the dem All right, I understand that, Mr. Kote is on the line. Hello, Mr. Kote. Hello. Uh, sorry, we lost you there a bit. You were talking about the conduct of the general manager. Yes, and I was saying that the conduct of the general manager has not been a pleasant one. It's more or less taking the law in his hands uh, because of his position. And it doesn't work like that. In, in administration, if you decide to bend a rule for one person, then make sure you bend it for the rest of the team. But this case, he is doing pick and choose. We found some other uh, high-profile management personnel, one that is coming from uh, Palestine, you know, was also dismissed just like that because he expressed interest to join the union, and the man was just dismissed. Mm. Any other offense that a black woman commits, he goes ahead and he issues dismissal letters. But if it's about white, then he wants to go through a due process that is not within the ambit of the regulations of, of the business. Mm. We, we have not been happy with him, and we think uh, he may have to revive his working relations with mm. the workers and the unions. Now, you say you foresaw this demonstration. You're unhappy with the, uh, with the conduct of the manager. Was there anything that the ICU could have done to prevent it uh, escalating to this point? Because th this causes more yes. embarrassment. They are, they are clients, they are guests, and, and the workers have to resort to this. When the, when the issue was coming up, we walked in there, we got the team, and we told him that, please, this should not be a problem. But the way you are managing it, it may escalate and create problems for all of us. He wouldn't buy okay? And eventually, this is what had happened. We, we, we hope that these bitter lessons will let him pick up and do what is right. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Kote. You're he welcome. is General Secretary of the ICU. And we've been talking about the Mevin Pick uh, demonstration that happened yesterday by some staff there. And also looking generally at issues of allegations of racism against expatriate force by the Ghanaian employees.